Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mold and today we are going to solve some cell practice exercise questions. 1 to 9 cell practice 1F of chapter 1. Chapter name is Integers of class 7th of New Learning Composite Mathematics Textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog masquerade.com. For more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSE, ICC and other state board. Other state boards. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn, uh, learn about cell practice exercise questions 1F, questions 1 to 9 of cell practice 1F. Chapter 1, chapter name is integers and topic is word problems on integers. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 6. The temperature at 12 noon was 10 degree Celsius above 0. Above 0 means it is plus 10 degree Celsius. If it decreases at the rate of 2 degree Celsius per hour until midnight. At what time would the temperature be 8 degree Celsius below 0? That is minus 8 degree Celsius. See, minus 8 degree Celsius. What would be the temperature at midnight? So, first the temperature at 12 noon. First 12 noon is given. 12 noon and uh, the temperature at 12 noon was 10 degree Celsius. If it decreases at the rate of 2 degree, that is we have to subtract 2 degree from 10 degree Celsius. Then the after 1 hour, the temperature will be 12 noon. After 1 hour, it is 1 pm. So, temperature will be here 10 degree Celsius. So, uh, so, the decreases at the rate of 2 degrees. So, 10 degree minus 2 degrees, 8 degree Celsius. So, so, the temperature at the time 1 p.m. was 8 degree Celsius. Then after 1 hour, 1 to 1 hour is 2 p.m. Then that time 8 degree Celsius minus 2 degree Celsius. That is 6 degree Celsius. Then after 1 hour, 2 that is 3 p.m. That time 6 degree Celsius before at 2 p.m. it was 6 degree then 6 minus 2, it is 4 degree Celsius. Now the temperature at 12 noon. Uh, now the temperature at 4 pm. 4 pm will be 4, 4 degree Celsius minus 2 degree Celsius, that is 2 degree Celsius. Then I, at after 1 hour, that is 5 pm. It is 2 degree Celsius minus 2 degree that is 0 degree and after 1 hour that is 5 to 6, 7 pm, 5 to 6 that is 6 pm, 0 degree Celsius minus 2 degree that is minus 2 degree and after 1 hour at 7 pm it will be minus 2, minus 2 that is minus 4 degree. We have to find the temperature at 8 degree Celsius below 0. So it is at the temperature minus 8 degree Celsius at what time we have to find out. So, uh, so the temperature at minus 4 degree Celsius is 7 pm. Then after 1 hour it will be Now the temperature at 7 pm The temperature at uh, 7 pm uh, was minus 4 degree Celsius. Now after 1 hour it is 8 pm Then it will be minus 4 minus 2 That is minus 6 degree Celsius then after 1 hour, that is 8 to 9, that is 9 p.m., it will be minus 6 degree minus 2, that is minus 8 degree Celsius. Then after 1 hour, that is 10 p.m., the temperature will be minus 8 degree minus 2 degree, that is minus 10 degree. Then after 1 hour, at 11 p.m., the temperature was minus 10 degree minus 2 degree. So it will be minus 12 degree centigrade. And after one hour, uh, one hour, that is 11, 11 plus 1, that is 12 p.m. At midnight, the temperature will be minus 2, minus 2. That is minus 14 degree Celsius. So, the temperature, uh, so at what time, the temperature be 8 degree Celsius below. So, the temperature at 8 degree Celsius below is 
this 9 pm so it will be at what time is 9 pm the temperature will be minus 8 degree celsius below what would be the temperature at midnight so the temperature at midnight it is minus 14 degree celsius So it is minus 14 degree Celsius. Temperature at midnight is minus 14 degree Celsius. So at 9 pm the temperature will be 10 degree Celsius below 0 at 9 pm. And the temperature at midnight would be the temperature at midnight would be minus 14 degree Celsius. This is the answer. Now question number 7. A multi-story building has 25 doors uh, above the ground level, each of height 5, 5 meter. It also has 3 doors at the basement. Each of height is 5 meter. A lift in the building moves at the rate of 1 meter per second. If a man starts from 50 meter above the ground, how long will it take him to reach the second floor basements? So height of one door is 5 meter it is given height of the door is 5 meter then height of 3 door will be height of 25 a multi-story building has 25 doors so height of 25 door will be 25 multiplied with 5 that is 125 meter then after a man starts at the rate of 1 meter per second above the 50 meter above the ground so now he is above at 150 meter. The height of 25 doors is 125 meter minus 50 meter. Then up now he is above at 125 meter. This 125 meter minus 50, 50 meter. A lift in the building moves at the rate of 1 meter per second. If a move, man starts 50 meter above the ground, how long is it? So now he is above at 125 meter minus 50 meter, that is 75 meter. A lift moves at 1 meter per second. Now the time, um, time taken to reach the second floor basement will be distance divided by time that is distance is 1 75 meter divided by time is 1 meter per second that is 75 second so the time taken in taken the taken the man taken so the time taken to reach the second floor basement is minus uh, so the time taken the man to reach the second floor basement is 75 second. So 75 second is the answer. Now question number 8. At a target shooting stall in a fair, for every chance a person got, he was paid for 15 rupees of the hit target. Have to pay 5 rupees to the stall keeper. 5 rupees to the stall keeper. Every shot he missed. How much money did Monis uh, make a total of 25 times and, he, and missed 5 times? So every chance of hit a person got 15 rupees. Every chance of hit the person got 15 rupees. So he make a total of 25 times. So in 25 times he got 25 multiplied with 15 that is 375 rupees. In 25 times, he he, uh, he got from the stall keeper the, that the stall keeper paid to the uh, person for every 25 times 375 rupees. And if the uh, if the person missed, then he has to pay to the stall keeper five rupees. And the person missed five times. So in one time, if he missed, then he has to pay to the stall keeper five rupees. 
he missed five times. So in five times he has to pay. The storekeeper will be five rupees multiplied with five rupees. Five rupees multiplied with five times that is twenty five rupees. Then how much money did Monis make a total of twenty five times and missed five times? So total money made by Monis will be three hundred seventy five rupees minus twenty five rupees. That is three hundred fifty rupees. So the total money made by by shooting stall from the stall keeper is three hundred seven three hundred fifty rupees. Now question number nine. A person earns four hundred rupees per day and out uh, of this he spends two hundred twenty five rupees per day. Calculate his saving for the month of June. We know the month of June has thirty days, and person earns four hundred rupees per day. So uh, in thirty days, the person earns the person earnings will be four hundred rupees multiplied with thirty days. So it will be twelve thousand days per day. He earns four hundred rupees. So in thirty days, his earning will be four hundred multiplied with thirty. That is twelve thousand rupees. Now in per day he spent two hundred twenty five rupees. So in thirty days, that is in the month of June, that is thirty days, he his his spent will be two hundred twenty five multiplied with thirty. That is six thousand seven hundred fifty rupees. Now calculate his saving for the month of June. Now saving will be earning minus spent money. So it is twelve thousand earning minus spent money. That is twelve thousand rupees minus six thousand seven hundred fifty rupees. Now it is zero. Ten minus five is five. Then it is nine. Nine minus two is nine minus seven is two. And this is eleven. Eleven minus six is five. Now it is five thousand two hundred fifty rupees. So the person savings for the month of June is five thousand two hundred fifty rupees. subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i'll reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you